Support for Joe Biden is sinking like a stone, and many Democrats, not those who have come down with the liberal pathogen, but just kind of your old school blue collar Democrats or minorities. Well, actually, white people are a minority in a half a dozen states. Uh, non white voters who the Democrat Party panders to are now reconsidering Donald Trump. The primary reason for this is everybody is now aware that the United States has been invaded over the last few years by millions and millions of criminal invaders from really all over the world who are coming in through the southern border, and they're being given preferential treatment over American citizens. And now New York City is going to be giving $53 million in prepaid credit cards to the criminal invaders. The mayor over there, Eric Adams, says that it will help the migrant families buy food and baby supplies. Well, I thought they came here to work. I thought they came here because they had skills to offer our country. Oh, of course not. They came here to take what we have. And now New York resident and rapper 50 Cent caught wind of this and is quite upset about it, posting a screenshot of an article about the plan on his Instagram and saying that maybe Trump is the answer. WTF, Mayor Adams, he said, call my phone. I don't understand how this works. Somebody explain. And he tagged Ari Melbourne, an MSNBC host, who he says can't explain this and that he's stuck and maybe Trump is the answer. <laughs> well, Mr. Scent, I will explain it to you. But first, there is a brand new shirt in my online store, markdice.com, about this. It's my sorry, no vacancy, deport them all shirt which you should order from MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. Actor Michael Rappaport, who is best known for posting profanity-laced rants on the internet about nothing, is repeating his previous stance that voting for Donald Trump is on the table after he learned about the criminal invaders who attacked a police officer who was trying to arrest them in New York City for being part of an organized theft ring, and then they were let out of jail without even having to pay any bail. And so he is very upset about that. This is why when I say voting for pig Donald Trump is on the table, voting for pig Donald Trump is on the table. The other day in New York City, six illegal aliens jumped a New York City cop, NYPD's finest. They jumped a New York City cop in Times Square and were arrested and released without bail. I know it's a city thing. I know it's a state thing. I know all that. I know all that. It's a Democrat thing. It's a liberal thing. You don't know anything. He's talking about these clowns in case you missed it after they were released. Instead of showing remorse, they were flipping off the cameras. Again, these are, it's not even fair to call them illegal aliens. Definitely don't call them illegal immigrants. They're not immigrants. These are criminal invaders. And so this story is really changing a lot of people's minds. Even CNN has to admit the obvious now. I mean, we're hearing a change when it comes to immigration in general from President Biden on down. Do you hear her talk about that? It is also directly related to the fact that these were police officers. Does that have any impact? Does that change anything? These individuals, I went over their rap sheets yesterday, mm -hmm. multiple charges, grand larceny, robbery, attempted robbery, grand larceny, grand larceny. Uh, this particular crew operated on mopeds and scooters. They were doing organized retail theft. They were doing snatches on the street, iPhones, iPads, clothing, so on and so forth. Uh, one of them that they are still seeking has 10 charges on one day because he's part of a pattern that's been going on. And... I'm looking at the dates that their arrest started, which is probably close to when they got here. They've only been here a couple of months. So what the detectives are telling me is they have crews here that operate in New York, do all their stealing, then go to Florida to spend the money and then come back. And I'm like, well, why don't they just stay and steal in Florida? And they said, because there you go to jail. Oh. Great point. Keep us posted on this. They were speechless, absolutely speechless. I didn't pause that or slow it down at all. They just didn't know what to say. And in case you haven't heard, rapper Snoop Dogg has had a change of tune about Donald Trump. Now has nothing but love and respect for him after endorsing Hillary Clinton in 2016 and then making that despicable rap video depicting himself shooting him. And uh, now he likes him again because politics is such a dirty business that in order to try to win over 
some more of the black vote. Donald Trump let a bunch of black criminals out of prison. And one of those people was the co-founder of Death Row Records, which gave Snoop Dogg his start in his career. Of course, before the entire liberal media industrial complex turned on him, labeling him enemy number one, and doing everything that they could to try to depict him as the reincarnation of Hitler, the entire rap industry, rap community, idolized him, constantly giving him shout-outs in their songs. Here's just a brief compilation. You probably won't be able to make out many of the words in this gibberish other than his name, but here it is. Let me in, uh, Bill Gates, Donald Trump, let me in, uh, Boys in the hood, call me Black Donald Trump. Machiavelli returns as God forgives and I don't. Resurrection of the real time to get richer than Trump. I made a million on that corner, going down to Trump, no. Take over the world when I'm on my Donald Trump's Boy, I got money like Donald Trump. Before I die, I want a mansion and a Lamborghini. I bank a council so fat that Donald Trump would want to be me. Hey, I'm like Donald Trump. Uh, Okay, that's enough of that noise pollution, but you get the point. And now it's finally become safe to actually talk about what the Democrat plan is regarding this invasion. As Elon Musk posted the other day, Biden's strategy is very simple. Get as many illegals in the country as possible. Legalize them to create a permanent majority, a one-party state. That is why they are encouraging so much illegal immigration. Simple yet effective. Actually, Elon, that's only half the story. The other half is still too politically taboo for most people to talk about, unless you're talking about it and you're a liberal and you're celebrating it. So, of course, you'll hear about it on CNN framed in glowing terms like this. As we see more people of color coming into the country as immigrants and being born in this country, by the year 2045, this country is going to be majority people of color. Many conservatives and others know this. And so you have this wave of, of, of nationalism to maintain the, the population growth of, of white citizens as that um, population is continuing to decline. As you know, once you notice this and you start talking about it publicly or posting about it on social media, you're only supposed to celebrate it. Right, Anderson Cooper? The idea that, um, you know, whites will, will not be the majority, I mean, that's, it's an exciting transformation of the country. It's an exciting evolution uh, and, you know, progress of our country in many different ways. Less white people is exciting. It's progress. And it's not just happening in the United States. Europe has been having the same situation happen over there. But instead of having, you know, Latinos from South America flood their countries, obviously, they've been flooded by Africans and people from the Middle East. And that's also only supposed to be celebrated. Right, Bill Maher? I mean, I remember being in England <clears> the <throat> first time <clears throat> in the 80s, and it was very different. Yeah. <laughs> very different. How so? Well, first of all, London was like all white. Yeah. Yeah, it was. You know, so can we just celebrate that victory that we made a place more diverse? It's a victory, they say, to dramatically reduce the number of the native population so that they are now a minority in what was once their own country. And now the name Mohammed for like six years now, maybe longer, is the most popular baby boy name in London. Maybe actually all of UK that in London, the white British population has decreased by 600,000, while the minority population has increased by 1.2 million. So yes, lads, we're winning. This is one of those topics where you start noticing too many things and particularly talking about them and even hinting that you're opposed to white people becoming minorities in, well, what once was their native homelands, then that can get you into some very big trouble. So, of course, I detail it in my new book, The War on Conservatives, which you should order from Amazon.com or click the link in the description below. These videos are just appetizers. The full four-course meal is contained in the book. And if you enjoy watching these videos, you don't know what you're missing by not reading the book. So head on over to Amazon.com or click the link in the description below. And head on over to MarkDice.com and order your Sorry No Vacancy Deport Them All shirt, which is designed to look like one of the No Vacancy signs, those old, old classic neon signs outside of a hotel. And your purchase helps support my channel and to get a great shirt. So head on over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. And check them out. <laughs>